This is Nanyang Girls High School. Founded in 1917, it was born of the foresight of founding fathers who recognized the importance of educating girls, nurturing them into women of character who will contribute to making society better for all. Today, Nanyang Girls is a vibrant learning community that is well regarded by many for the fine tradition steeped in Chinese culture and values as well as its forward-looking curriculum designed to bring about 21st century capacities. In this video, we will highlight just three examples of this innovative curriculum, all designed in-house by our highly competent teachers. Firstly, increasingly, there is recognition that many issues and opportunities that confront society in this 21st century can only be explored through an interdisciplinary research approach. Contagion. This is an interdisciplinary enrichment module created by Nanyang Girls High School for Secondary 4 students. This module looks at the containment and surveillance of diseases around the world. It also looks at how the disciplines of science, mathematics, humanities and social sciences integrate for a comprehensive understanding of global challenges and solutions. The module was designed with the 21st century core competencies in mind. As our society is becoming increasingly cosmopolitan and more Singaporeans live and work abroad, our young will need a broader worldview and the ability to work with people from diverse cultural backgrounds with different ideas and perspectives. At the same time, they should be informed about national and global issues and contribute actively to the community. To be ready for the future, our young need to be able to think critically, assess options and make sound and responsible decisions. They need to learn, explore and be prepared to handle ambiguity. They should not be afraid to make mistakes and face challenges that may at first appear daunting. In the 21st century, it is important that our young know what questions to ask, how to evaluate information and extract that which is relevant and useful. More importantly, they should be able to communicate the ideas clearly and effectively. To further enhance interdisciplinary inquiry, the school has also ventured into place-based learning, where the learning takes place in an authentic setting outside of school, hence turning these communities into classrooms. Place-based learning immerses students in local heritage, culture, landscapes, opportunities and experiences as a foundation for the study of languages, arts, mathematics, social studies, science and other subjects. Over three days, 22 students from the Humanities Programme carried out a place-based field study at Changi Village. It was also interdisciplinary in nature. Ideal for place-based study, Changi Village allows for collaboration, independent thought through inquiry, data collection and analysis. Through photos and interviews with the local population, the students discovered that Changi Village is a blend of the Singapore heritage and globalisation. They developed their own specific research themes derived from the overarching theme, change and continuity. Using this approach has enabled our students to be engaged, active Singapore citizens, self-directed learners, effectively communicating with the local community. Future plans for place-based learning will look at other local places that are rich in heritage such as Tiong Bahru, Topayo and Balestier. Thirdly, if we accept that these 21st century students are digital natives, then the necessity of educating them using one-to-one -one computing is almost a corollary. The personal computing device will empower students to take greater ownership of their learning. They now have immediate access to resources far beyond what can be offered in class. The connectivity will also enable collaboration of a level not possible before. In teaching the Secondary 2 Physics syllabus, we introduced a number of innovative approaches using ICT. As all of our students at this level are on a one-to-one -one iPad program, it makes the use of the internet during lessons a simple matter. The internet allows students to quickly look up information or watch a video clip. This can really help them to visualise abstract concepts and enables them to see how the physics principles they are learning about relate to the world they live in. We also use a number of apps to help in the teaching of specific topics. These frequently allow students to investigate a physics phenomena in a very hands-on way. Many also actually help to get students working cooperatively on projects. Also, the notes we give to students are now soft copy, created in Keynote. These soft copy notes allow the students to interact with their teaching materials in ways that were not possible before. They can, of course, easily be amended or updated, and they are naturally more environmentally friendly as they save paper. 
camera and video built into the iPad together with the iMovie video editing app are novel ways for the students to record their learning moments. Be it recording a practical done in a science lesson or firing a water rocket to investigate Newton's laws. These are but three examples of the kind of innovative curriculum that we have crafted to build in our students' 21st century capacities. That of thinking critically and creatively and acting collaboratively to build a better world for themselves and for others.